Hello everybody, it is me, Mr. Vince, and I hope you all have an amazing day today. And welcome back to a brand new episode of reviewing an underrated vehicle inside of Roblox Jailbreak. Today, I'm going to review the tow truck. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So the tow truck is a pretty infamous vehicle in Jailbreak. And you might be like, well, is the tow truck pretty overrated? Not necessarily. The tow truck itself is actually pretty underrated. And its spawn is pretty remote. So the tow truck released on March 5th, 2022 in the brand new Horns update, which was probably one of my least favorite updates of 2022, even though the update was pretty decent. The tow truck released in the update and it was actually a pretty unique vehicle as it became the first ever land vehicle that can actually tow vehicles. Yeah, since towing improved dramatically on March 5th, 2022, this vehicle can tow anything that is a vehicle. So you can tow the Interrogator, the Camaro, the UFO, the helicopter, you name them all. This vehicle is a pretty solid vehicle. You can tow other tow trucks, you can tow pretty much anything. And I think that is pretty cool. Now, the thing is, this vehicle right here only costs 80,000 cash. And is it really worth buying the tow truck? Well, not really. I mean, for towing, yes. I mean, you can troll with towing, but the vehicle itself is not really that fast. It's probably best that you save up for the La Matador or the Cybertruck, because those two vehicles are much more superior compared to the tow truck. And you might already notice that the tow truck is already going slower in miles per hour. Yeah, that is pretty weird. The tow truck itself does not have an overdrive gear, so this vehicle does not go really fast, as it only goes up to about 120 miles per hour with level 5 engine, which is not as great as the Camaro. I mean, to say the least, this vehicle is pretty mediocre. I mean, this vehicle is not really the worst vehicle either. I mean, at least it's better than the ATV, which costs 50000 and it's extremely slow for its price. And I love the license plate of it too. Like, if I go ahead and spawn in another tow truck, you might notice that the license plate says Mater. And I am sure that a lot of you know who Mater is. So, of course, we got the infamous license plate, and this is where the tow truck spawns at. When it was first added, the tow truck used to spawn at the gas station in the town. And for those who do not know where it's at, it's actually right beside the donut shop. So I'm not talking about the SEMO gas station, I'm talking about the town gas station, which is cosmetic. However, its spawn changed in the April 2022 update because there were some changes to the town. So the tow truck spawn was actually moved in the update. At that point, it actually spawned somewhere over here because its spawn was removed and replaced. However, it didn't last that long because in the June 2022 update, thanks to the introduction of the trading port, its spawn has been moved once again. Now, it actually spawns at the trading port. And I don't understand why. Why does it spawn at the trading port? Like, why can't it just spawn at the gas station? But at the same time, there has to be a vehicle that could spawn at the trading port, so it kind of makes sense. Now, as of a recent update, you can actually rent the beach house, and if you manage to oof and you respawn at the beach house, you can just walk to the tow truck and you can get it from there. But honestly, it's probably better to just spawn a Camaro. So next, I'll talk about its design. This vehicle has a pretty nice design. Asimo was the one who made this vehicle, and no one else did. So. This vehicle actually looks pretty good. I mean, if I go ahead and look at this tow truck over here, yeah, it looks pretty good. The headlights are pretty unique, and there are some small windows that are kind of blocking out the headlights. And then we have the interior. Asimo did a pretty good job making the interior. I mean, we got the steering wheel, the chairs, and the actual interior itself. And I wonder what those two screens are doing here. I think they represent a GPS or something, but yeah, and it just sees bond. All right, so yeah, you can also notice that the trunk of the tow truck looks like this, and it's covered by some extra support for towing. And 
yeah that's why you can't sit on the back of the tow truck so yeah that is the chunk of the tow truck these are the wheels as well as the rims and we got the front wow that looks pretty interesting it looks like it's shocked because it's shocked to see the camera am i right but yeah the tow truck itself is pretty unique and honestly it actually looks pretty good I mean, the design itself is not the best, but I will give it a 8 out of 10. I like the front of it too. I think it looks pretty funny. And yeah. So, is it really worth getting the tow truck as of 2023? Well, not necessarily, but if you want to troll others with this, then sure, you can just buy if you want. I mean, it's up to you. And it is the only vehicle that can tow other vehicles in jailbreak trading, which I think is a little bit surprising. Anyway, that is all I got for this video. If you guys have enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe as well. And please feel free to leave a vehicle suggestion in the comments. I was going to do the beignet, but I don't have the beignet, so I will only review some of the vehicles I actually own. So please feel free to leave your vehicle suggestions down below. But as always, my name is Mr. Vince. I hope you all have an amazing day today, and I'll see you guys in the next video.